Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current AC electricity supply system. Born and raised in the Austrian Empire, Tesla studied engineering and physics in the 1870s without receiving a degree, gaining practical experience in the early 1880s working in telephony and at Continental Edison in the new electric power industry. Let us hear some inspirational thoughts by Nikola Tesla. You want to find the secrets of the universe. Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. The present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Of all things, I like books best. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than all the previous centuries of its existence. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. I could only achieve success in my life through self-discipline and I applied it until my wish and my will became one. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheel work of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. We all make mistakes, and it is better to make them before we begin. Our entire biological system, the brain, and the earth itself work on the same frequencies. Electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities and can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other of the common fuels. I am even grateful to Einstein and others because through their erroneous theories they lead mankind away from that dangerous path I followed. You only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine. Then you would have the key to the universe. My brain is only a receiver in the universe. No free energy device will ever be allowed to reach the market. Inventors don't have time for married life. Throughout the infinite, the forces are in a perfect balance, and hence the energy of a single thought may determine the motion of a universe. The idea came like a flash of lightning, and in an instant the truth was revealed. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments.
The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. These are the main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. I have always been ahead of my time. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Love. I recognize the emotion for what it is, an irrational self-destructive impulse, which is disguised as joy. Today, scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. When wireless is fully applied, the Earth will be converted into a huge brain, capable of response in every one of its spots. Great moments are born great opportunity. The Buddhist expresses it in one way, the Christian in another, but both say the same. We are all one. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. Each day we go to our work in the hope of discovering. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Perhaps I failed. But I did my best. These masters of mine may do the rest. The opinion of the world does not affect me. I have placed as the real values in my life what follows when I am dead. The desire that guides me in all I do is the desire to harness the forces of nature to the service of mankind. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all, a marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty, and mystery beyond human conception, and so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. My belief is firm and all of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. In a crystal we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle, and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. Of all the frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Man, like the universe, is a machine. Nothing enters our minds or determines our actions which is not directly or indirectly a response to stimuli beating upon our sense organs from without. Of all things, I like books best. My father had a large library, and whenever I could manage, I tried to satisfy my passion for reading. In the 21st century, 
The robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization.